All right, it's time for Stubborn Love by the Lumineers. What a cool song. Fun to play, fun strum pattern, lots of dynamics, little twists and turns. Okay, no capo needed for this song. Now, chords. We have this curious F with a C in the bass. Anything with a slash, mean the, the second of the two letters means that note, C in this case, is in the bass. So it's an F chord with the C as the lowest note. So let's see what the, usually our F is like this. Right, with a little bar over here, but an F with a C in the bass is this. So here's our F. Start with a chord that you know, right? Move your third finger to string five fret three and put your pinky on string four fret three. Now, if you can't get the bar while you're doing that, you can, you can release the bar. You don't want to really hear the open string one. But if you hear a muted sound like that, that's cool. And you just strum from uh, string five through one and the first one just be muted. That's okay. So don't worry about if you can't bar like that, you don't need that note. You can just do like that and hear a muted first string, that's fine. And if you accidentally hit the open string one, it's not awful, it's just not really part of the song. Okay, so now, um, A minor we know, C, we know, G, fancy G, or, or weird G, or this G. And then an A minor with a G in the bass, I don't know um, about that. <laughs> I'll show it to you. Here's A minor, pinky, which uh, string six fret three. There's your G in the bass, that's a G note. Just like a G chord, right? So there's a G in the bass, it's the lowest note in the chord. Um, that might be a little hard. That might be a little hard because it's, you know, the pinky is reaching real far and holding down the string six. I don't know about that. You might, you might want to just stick with the A minor when you see A minor slash G or A minor with a G in the bass. You might want to just do A minor there. Okay, so strum pattern. Um, in the beginning, you're just doing one strum per chord. But let, let's get into the song. Then, then we, can, we can talk more about that. Oh, I, I lied. I'll teach this strum pattern a second. <laughs> going on there so let's come back to the verse in, in a minute so in the beginning two strums on that F with a C in the bass so and then oh I'm sorry yeah two down strums and then up down up and then that's what it is uh, down down up down up on the F with the C in the bass, and then two down strums on A minor. And then the same pattern on the F with the C in the bass. And then two, two down strums on the C chord. So that first line of the intro goes, and then there's this big long pause, and then, and then, then the same pattern for the F with the C in the bass and the A minor, but then that pattern continues to C. Then G. So F, up, down, up, A minor, two down strums. G is up, down, up. I have to listen to it again. It's as hard without the um Okay, the first line that's right. Alright, so the second line of the intro, here we go. Uh down, down, up, down, up, A minor. Oh, 
12, I'm sorry. And then the same pattern on A minor, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, on G also. And then two down strums on C. Sorry, that's what I was messing up. So second line of the intro, you do the same strum pattern on F, A minor, and G. Down, down, up, down, up, A minor, G, C. And then two down strums on C. Uh, so a uh, pair, pair, banana, pair, pair, banana, pair, pair, banana, pair, pair, banana, down, down, up, down, up, down. That's what I should have said to begin with. Uh, now, they made this unnecessarily confusing. What I just taught, just do the do all that twice because they they list all the chords again there um, in the intro, but they do it in a lopsided way that makes you think you have to do something different. But you actually just do the same thing twice. So the pattern you just learned. Okay, let me say it this way: Do the intro. The first two lines except for the the last C and F with the C in the bass, leave those off and do that, do up to there twice. If that doesn't make sense, just, just ask me. But in line two of the intro, leave the last two chords off and up to that up to there, do do that do do those first two lines twice of the intro uh, and that, that'll suffice for you. Now I think you're gonna do the same exact pattern for the verse, but let's check it out. Oh. Here's the verse. July and steel and cheap. And beg you from your knee. Make you think so. Yes, same exact pattern that you did in the intro, you do for verse one. Now, this is confusing again. The C at the beginning of verse one is just, it's a leftover from the intro. So you're actually starting with the F with the C in the bass on the verse in verse one. So don't think of the C as the first chord, it's the, the F with the C in the bass. That's really the start of that that pattern is. I guess that because the C is ringing still when the singing starts in the verse, that's why they did that. But don't don't let that confuse you. Same thing in the beginning of verse two. Really the first chord is F with a C in the bass. So let's go back a little bit and just make sure. It looks like it's a, the, exactly the same, but. Make you think she needs it this time. She'll tear a hole in you. Well, now you it's all fused together. Now there's not these big gaps in between the chords. There's there's all this strumming going on. So now verse two is different. Um, so you do the down down up down up on the F with a C in the bass, but then on A minor. on the A minor and then the one you can't repair down down up down up pair pair banana on the F with the C in the bass but then on the C on the word repair four uh, of the uh, pair pair But I still love her. F with the C in the bass. Pear, pear, banana. Pear, pear, banana. Pear, pear, banana. Pear, pear, banana. Do a once on each chord uh, where it says, but I still love her. I don't really care. Um, that's not true. Though, on the word care, on the C, do the pear, pear, banana. 
four times. And then we're into the bridge, so let's check that out. Now in the bridge. This is really tricky, uh, actually. Uh, easy to think about, but hard to execute with your right hand and your left hand. You're gonna do the pair, pair, banana one time on every chord, except the last one on the where, where it says, ah, ah, it can't be done in the bridge. Let's see. Um, two pair bananas on that one. And then in the verse, they label it two, one. I think that's really verse three, but that's just me. Um, again, don't let the C's at the beginning bother you. They're just ringing from the section before. It's written, the F with the C in the bass is gonna lead off each of those. Um, let's see if I can get to where verse two dash one or verse three is. <laughs> Okay, that's going to be exactly the same as verse one. And verse 2 dash 2 is exactly the same as verse 1. The pre chorus, let's see, again, don't let the C fool, fool you. You're starting with the F with the C in the bass. Oh, wait a minute. I think there's something different going on there. Uh, let's do verse 2 dash 2. Okay, that's the end of verse 2 dash 1. Verse 2 dash 2, which is really verse 4, uh, same pattern as verse 1. Uh, the pre chorus, this is this is interesting that one strum, but don't start on C. This is actually so keep your head, the F with a C in the bay. Head up. Um, yeah, A minor. Don't worry about the A minor with a G in the bass, just do A minor. Uh, keep your head up. One strum each, uh, on each chord there. That's really nice. And then when you get to the chorus, um, the, the A minor is, is bleeding over from the, from the pre-chorus. Well, it's not. So I guess you have to play that A minor there with one strum, but then keep your, and then the strum pattern starts again. bananas is that? Let me see in the chorus. Oh, I went too, too far ahead. So in the 
pre-chorus we did that, and now we're in a chorus. Okay, okay. So, um, yeah, one strum on E minor, and then, pair, pair, banana, pair, pair, banana, two on the F with a C, keep your head up. Two on the C, G. Two on A minor. On each four on the A minor keep your love now verse 3-1 I lost track of how many verses but we'll just call it what they call it <laughs> verse 3-1 let's back up a little bit and do that Verse three dash one, um, A minor's left over from the chorus. So starting on the F with a C in the bass. Down to pair, pair, banana. So one pair, pair, banana on the F with a C in the bass, four on the A minor. One pair, pair, banana on the F with a C in the bass and four four on the C and then one each on F A minor G C and four pair pair bananas on the C verse 3 dash 2 which is probably like verse 8 or something by now I'm not sure before the, the last verse. On the bridge, one pair pair banana for every chord except the very last one. On the word done, the C gets four pair pair bananas. Now in the pre-chorus, it sounds like they're going back to one strum per chord there. I know there's a lot of sections, I'm sorry that I, I didn't write it. Oh, here's the end of the bridge. Skip the A minor with the G in the bass here. And, uh, stop it again um, pre in the pre-chorus two pair pair bananas on oh no we did the pre-chorus that's one strum um, on the chorus two pair pair bananas until no I think that's it And four on the A minor at the end on the word love, keep your love. Pre chorus. Let's see what happens here. Uh, 
end of the chorus. Oh, two, a, I'll go back and get that in a second. left off the A minor at the very end, so you can add in an A minor chord for your last chord on the outro. But if you go back up to the pre-chorus before that, on the word love, two pair pair bananas on. And then the chorus. Two pair pair bananas all the way through, every chord. And then the outro, one strumper chord, and add an A minor on the end. Um, I think I also meant to say in the chorus, second to last chorus, if you go four little sections up, that A minor also gets two, two pair pair bananas, not four, like I said. Okay, that's a lot of sections. Um, but it's, it is repetitive, so if you take good notes like I know you do, I think you'd be fine. But if um, I left something out or, or it's just not making sense, let me know, and we'll... Uh, make a supp supplementary video and get you hooked up. I'm sorry, this is a really long video, but hopefully it helps you out. Thanks for watching.